this talk is about molecular hydrogen with nutraticals for antioxidation and performance enhancement for strong antioxidant therapies 500 ml of normal saline is infused with 2 grams of vitamin C 1 ampule of vitamin B12 and 2 ampules of vitamin B complex B1 B6 B12 <coughs> pure molecular hydrogen is infused into the bottle as the same solution is transfused to the subject either a normal person for performance enhancement or a debilitated patient for detoxification and antioxidation <coughs> first of all 2 grams of vitamin C are withdrawn this is injectable ascorbic acid the brand I use comes in 5 grams sorry in five, comes in 2 grams in 5 ml into a 500 ml bottle of normal saline this is injected first the syringe alone is removed we do not need to make multiple punctures into the poly bottle which might lead to leakages with another fresh needle polybion or b1 b6 b12 injection is taken once the injection is extracted the needle is removed and the injection alone is introduced into the 500 ml of saline bottle we now take an ampule of vitamin B12 most of the combination soluble B complex vitamins do not have high doses of vitamin B12 and one of the strongest antioxidants vitamin B12 is usually deficient mostly amongst vegetarian people in India so once this nutritical solution is injected into the saline bottle this is going to be infused through the very same needle hole where the nutraticals were injected a transfusion set is pushed in to avoid leakages and dribbling the set is primed meaning we allow the fluid to flow till the end and all the air bubbles are vacated once it is done we begin hydrogenating the solution a hydrogen generator producing 99.99 percent of hydrogen 900 ml per minute is used and it starts bubbling hydrogen into the normal saline to avoid pressurizing the bottle and to allow the excess hydrogen to escape we put two or three air vents over the top end of the bottle once hydrogen runs through the saline the water becomes saturated with molecular hydrogen which is going to be continuously perfused while being transfused the patient can sit on a couch or lie on a bed a suitable vein is identified 
a 19 gauge butterfly is more than enough and this is now inserted into the vein is mostly painless and the patients are very comfortably accommodating the infusion is now started and allowed to flow the butterfly is strapped to the skin the flow rate is adjusted we can go up to 60 drops per minute in a young patient in patients for elderly with a cardiac situation we do not want to overload the heart it is going rather it is given rather slowly as the infusion is going on the patient might feel medicinal taste in her tongue due to resecretion of water soluble vitamins and we must inform the patient in advance that they may either experience medicine taste or they will excrete a colored yellow colored urine over the next 48 hours as this session will be done on two people because both of them are getting it done routinely for their performance enhancement so i am not calling them as patients we can see the repeat of the steps 5 ml or 2 grams of vitamin c are extracted into a syringe and in a similar manner as demonstrated earlier the same is injected into the saline bottle and the syringe alone is taken out <coughs> without while leaving the needle into the bottle we do not need to make multiple pricks into the bottle and for that purpose we will use the same needle to inject all the three constituents after vitamin C we will extract from an ampule of polybion or neurobion or B1, B6, B12 one full ampule and using the earlier needle the solution is injected into the transfusion set if we have multiple patients the solution can be pre-mixed and refrigerated not frozen to be used within 8 hours of making so in case you have got half a dozen patients instead of wasting time in front of the patient we can pre-mix all this in saline bottles and stack the saline bottles vertically in the water bottle section of a refrigerator and later expose it to room temperature for a short while to warm it up and avoid chills and rises.
once the nutraticals are mixed in the transfusion set we prime the transfusion set to ensure that there are no air bubbles or leakages one must push through the same hole my assistant is having difficulty in pushing it so i am telling showing her how to do it through the correct hole in the meanwhile we can see the other side being transfused and when we watch the flow chamber we can see the hydrogen bubbles bubbling into the flow chamber the minute micro bubbles of hydrogen are bubbling in the chamber and this is a very clear view to show you that the infusion is precisely and properly hydrogenated most patients report increase energy levels and also increased serotonin levels in the form of activity performance enhancement and ability to perform better in gymnasium or sporting activities the next person to get this is my assistant she has informed the male nurse that often her elbow veins would counter and it is better if it is used in the wrist nevertheless the nurse has given an injection in the elbow i have left the video unedited to show what could be the probable problems while performing the procedure here subsequently the vein got countered and there was a bulge so from elbow it had to be replaced to the wrist nevertheless the procedure was uneventful we can see the sequence hydrogen is coming out through a sterile drip set and is going into the bottle and bubbling and outlet we have two or three air vents and i can see the micro bubbles of hydrogen in the nutraceutical and saline solution as the same is being transfused in the patient in the second not the patient in the subject or a person as expected she now complains of bulge so a fresh butterfly had to be used and the infusion recommenced the whole procedure on one person takes about 7 minutes 7 to 8 minutes and if the person is young and fit and a sports person or the one who is regularly exercising we can keep the flow rate flow rate high while caution is advocated and a very slow flow rate is given in elderly people and those with apprehensions of cardiac overload by too rapid transfusion the whole procedure is very simple we just need a 99.9% hydrogen generator which will come with a connector into which a normal transfusion set can be used 
and we can always watch the chamber to ensure that the hydrogen is bubbling and it's a hydrogenated neutratical solution that is going into the person once the transfusion is over the butterfly is removed a padding is applied and a bandage or a elastoplast is applied on the part no heparin has been used like ozone infusion and hence we do not need lot of padding because post transfusion bleeding is not commonly encountered nor is so case encountered to learn more about hydrogen hydrogen infusions do a course or buy a machine whatsapp message 97910 20615 india no calls please have a nice day